Okay, everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna show you my overclocking settings for my 1660 Ti. Alright, so this is the one I'm gonna change my overclocking settings for to get uh, 30 megahertz per second. Alright, so I have five of these, and one of them I have right here in this rig, and I have uh, two of them in this rig, and I also have them uh, right here on this new rig, Jupiter. So we're gonna have a look on this uh, on HiveOS, my overclocking settings to get 30 MHz per second plus. All right, so let's do this. Okay, everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my overclocking settings on my 1660 Ti using HiveOS for mining Ethereum. All right, and also disclaimer: this is just my settings. You do this at your own risk. All right. So just log into your HiveOS account and just go and click on your farm, choose your worker. And right here we can see that I have uh, two 1660 Ti uh, GPUs. And also check out these numbers because uh, we want to add 70 watts as our lowest numbers on power limit. So we have 70, 120, 120 watts. So just remember the first number so in my case it's 70 watts so we're gonna add this later on in the overclocking settings and right now i have 24.73 megahertz per second on this one and 24.70 megahertz per second on this one the temp is 76 and this one has 63 and also we have 103 watts and 101 watts all right and no overclocking settings so we want to add some overclocking settings to get 30 plus megahertz per second on this uh, 1660 Ti GPU. All right, so all we have to do now is just go all the way to the right. And now we see that we have all, or we have one next to each GPU. So if you have the same GPU like I have, I have two 1660 Ti, you can just go and click on all to apply the settings to all of these uh, GPUs. If you have different ones, let's go and click on this one next to the right of your GPU. So I'm just gonna go and click on all. And now we got this uh, pop-up window, default config. We're gonna go to core clock offset and we're gonna add minus 200, like so. We're gonna go down to memory clock. So on HiveOS, we will double our memory clock setting. So normally we would add like 1100 on this one, but because we are on high OS, we're gonna add 2200 like so And then we have fan So you can add zero for out of fan or if you want to add your own fan speed like 70 like that You can just experiment if you want to have a lower temperature on your GPU I'm just gonna go and add zero after that we have power limit So this is the number that we looked at before so I'm gonna add 70 so this is the lowest I'm gonna add. And after that, we can go down. And if you want, you can turn off your LEDs. It may not work on some cards, but you can try this if you don't want to have your LEDs lighting up the room. All right. After that, we're just gonna go down to the bottom right corner and click on save to apply the overclocking settings. All right, so I'm just gonna go and refresh this. Just go up to the top menu right here and click on refresh. Okay, so now we can see that we have 30.25 megahertz per second and this one have 29.31 uh, megahertz per second. Okay, so I have waited a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go and click on refresh. And let's go and have a look. And now we have uh, 30.43 megahertz per second and 30.07 megahertz per second. We have lowered the temp, so we have 66 Celsius and 53 Celsius. And after that, we now have 70 watts on both. And here you can just see our overclocking settings. Okay everyone, so comment below your own results, uh, how many megahertz you get on your 1660 Ti. And also check out my other videos where I do some tutorials on mining and things like that. Other GPUs, overclocking settings. Alright, so subscribe, have an awesome day, take care and bye.